What's up guys, it is Dr. Seth, and today we're talking about wrapping knees, specifically if you are doing a self wrap. Now, why the hell would you want to wrap your own knees when you could get someone else to do it? Well, I have wrapped my own knees for every single one of my raw with wrap meets because I believe it gives me a big advantage. And what that really comes down to is control. And if I am the one wrapping my knees, I know how much I care about my squat. So I know that I'm gonna put everything into my own knee wrap. And if I'm the one wrapping my knees, I can tailor the tension to the exact attempt that I want. And I can make it exactly how tight that I need it. I am in charge of wrap placement and I can put that wrap exactly where I want it to be. And if I'm wrapping my own knees, I'm in charge of wrap timing so I can start it when I want to start it. I can make sure that I'm finished when the bar is loaded. So I'm not just sitting there waiting for the bar to get loaded for three minutes, or it's not a panic to get under the bar before that timer goes off. Now, if you are wrapping your knees, wrap selection is going to become pretty important because for myself, I don't want to wrap that is super, super stiff because if I'm wrapping myself, I want to make sure that it's soft enough that I am able to pull all of the tension out of it. I also want to wrap that bottoms out hard that I can get to lock up. And I found that the Elite FTS Patriot is my absolute favorite wrap for self wrapping because it's relatively stretchy, but it has a hard lockup point. So I can get all the tension out of it. I can get it to that lock and I get a really nice combination of rebound and stopping power from it. And when I am self wrapping, I'm not just going to have a loose wrap all willy nilly because I want to have as much length out of the wrap as possible before I start wrapping. Because if you got to pull the wrap a mile and you're wrapping your own knees, that becomes very difficult. So I have myself this nice little wrap roller. This thing's actually a giant pile of shit, but it's the only one that I was able to get to Canada. So I'm working with it. And when we're pre-rolling, it is so important to get all of the tension possible. So we really want to crank into it, but as we're cranking into it, we want to make sure the wrap's not all mismatched and like slopping all over the place because we want the ball to be as small as we can. We also don't want wrinkles in it because if you have a wrinkly pre-roll, you're gonna have a wrinkly shitty wrap. So we wanna make sure that it is as neat and tight of a ball as possible. And I know some people, they don't like pre-rolling the wraps because they think that it's gonna become like a hand grenade in your hands, it's gonna explode. If you're dropping a wrap that's pre-rolled, just don't have the hands of a teenage prepubescent little boy and you're gonna be just fine. Now, when I'm wrapping myself, I do start at the top and I make sure that my wrap is going outwards. The reason that I start at the top is I find that where it positions the kneecap feels a little bit better for me. The reason that I wrap outwards, there's gonna be some people that say, if you wrap out, it will hold your knees out. If we go back to physics, Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The wrap is gonna be pulling this way as much as you can be pulling that way, no matter what it does. So the reason I wrap outwards isn't because of I'm trying to do something weird with like knee valgus varus equi equilibrium. I just wrap outwards because it's what I've always done. And at this point, there's no point in changing it. So there's nothing really all that fancy going on. So when I am starting above the knee, I'm going to make sure my quads flex. I'm gonna make sure the knee is locked and I'm gonna start just above the kneecap. And I'm going to try to tag that kneecap down. And you'll see I'm pulling as hard as I can with the tail. I'm leaving this tail be Take note of that because that becomes important very later. I'm leaving this tail, I'm pulling hard on it, then I'm taking this ball and pulling as hard as I can, tagging that kneecap down. Then my next wrap is going to be pretty much right at the edge. So I'm like basically lining them up. If I was in a three meter wrap, I would have more coverage because this is a two and a half and I want to get as much coverage as I can out of the two and a half. I'm going to spread it out on the first way down and then I'm gonna finish with about one third overlap. So about a third, and then I'm gonna come back up, half overlap, half overlap, close that gap. And then I'm gonna come around. I'm going to cross over down. I'm gonna cross over back up. And then if I pull this tight enough, I didn't pull this tight enough because I'm not giving myself a real wrap. Actually, maybe I did. Oop, there we go. And then I can finish up, grab that tail, grab that around. And then I have this neat little thing that I can use to tie it off. Makes tying the wrap off very, very, very easy. It also makes getting out of the wrap very, very easy because you can just tug it out. Now, with this wrap style, one thing that you wanna notice is as I'm doing the X's, as I'm positioning, I'm trying to get as much behind the knee as I possibly can. The reason I want wrap behind the knee is the wrap behind the knee is what's gonna stop the knee from bending and give you that rebound and give you that support. You'll see a lot of lifters go way up their quad, way down their shin. All the wrap doing down here, all the wrap's doing down here is just squeezing shit. I don't want to squeeze it. I want to get pounds out of the wrap. So if I can have it as compact as possible while still giving myself knee coverage, that is going to give me the best rebound, the best stopping power, the best squat that I can have. So guys, that is how I self-wrap my knee. 
This is how I untie the wrap. That's the advantage of the bow tie. It makes it really easy to get on, makes it really easy to get off, makes it basically as simple as you possibly can have it. So if you guys want a self wrap, give that a try. Make sure you have a wrap that has some pull so you can easily get it to max tension. Make sure you have a wrap that locks up so you can have that stopping power. And if you are gonna self wrap, make sure that you are practicing wrapping regularly because the first time you self wrap, it's gonna suck. So do it at home when you don't have to squat, get in the rhythm, get in the habit, get your hands in shape to pull that thing tight. And once you get it down, you will be better off self wrap it and then having someone else wrap for you. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, have a good rest of your day.